The real story behind the famous Brown Lady of Raynham Hall ghost photo, Captain Hubert C. Provan, photographer of Country Life magazine, and his assistant, Indre Shira, traveled to the neoclassical building in September 1936. They were already setting up the equipment when the assistant saw something moving down the stairs toward them. After returning to the lab and developing the film, the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall was seen for the first time. It quickly became one of the most famous ghost photos of all time, but the jaw-dropping image received various criticisms. People claimed that somehow dust must have gotten on the lens by Shira, but it's not clear if it was accidental or not. In 2008, the Skeptical Inquirer wrote that a detailed examination of the image showed evidence of double exposure. What likely happened is that the camera was shifted slightly during a long two-stage exposure, one with a real figure briefly standing on the stairs. It means that the photo was not flash illuminated, but shot with available light, thus requiring a long exposure 